Good evening, my name is David Land. I'm with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is March 4th, 2017, and I'm about to perform a video inspection of the main line of 6112 North A Street here in Spokane, Washington. Um, got called out, the line was backed up, and got called out to perform a video inspection. And what, excuse me, what we're looking at here is the uh, city sewer. We're sitting in the hub here. It's uh, all concrete. Um, as I pull back, I'll um, um, give you my take on the on the pipe, and uh, we can go from there. <clears throat> I'm going to give you footage um, coming back from the city sewer. As I pull back, you'll always be able to tell where the bottom of the pipe is by where my light is at, and also by, of course, the flow of water. We're pulling into a, what looks like, to me, six-inch tile pipe. Um, the most problematic areas are the joints. You can see there was a root intrusion here that got knocked out um, pretty well by my, by my cabling. Um, bottom of the pipe is in the upper right-hand corner. Here is another um, joint. It, see, in clay tile pipe, the most, problematic air, the, excuse me, the most problematic areas are the joints. Over time, the ground um, settles and the joints offset. You can see at that joint we just passed how it stair steps up. Um, you would much prefer the uh, pipe to stair step down as opposed to stair step up. Stair stepping up prevent, excuse me, prevents the flow of uh, water. Here we have a, a bit of a root intrusion here. Um, got knocked out uh, for the most part. Um, it's about six feet from the city sewer and this is all in the six inch tile pipe continuing to pull back here and here's where we transition into the um, Orangeburg pipe right here what looks like eight feet from the city sewer <clears throat> now Orangeburg pipe is probably the least favorable out of all the pipes we see here in Spokane um, it has a life expectancy of 50 to 70 years. Um, it has three uh, uh, stages of life. It blisters, ovalizes, and then eventually collapses. You can see a, a bit of a root intrusion there um, at the bottom of the screen. It'll be the right hand side of the pipe. You can see there's a pretty good um, deformity there it's about center screen you can see how the pipe um, is just misshapen that is uh, pretty indicative of um, Orangeburg see you can see the flat there's just pieces of the pipe hanging on there there that shiny part it's actually a, a layer of the pipe hanging so the pipe blisters um, ovalizes and then eventually collapses. Um, it's essentially compressed tar paper and wood pulp. It was introduced, um, we started seeing it around 1942-1943 right after um, the war started, 41 when Pearl Harbor um, dropped. And there you can see a pretty large blister. The, the uh, pipe literally just blisters up on itself the problem and you can see actually the water diverting itself there um, towards the top of the screen which would be the left hand side of the pipe and that's um, mainly and then the pool um, direct, directly upstream from the blister that's why and then here's another blister that's why uh, Orangeburg is just so um, it's just garbage really I mean it's it's uh, it impedes these blisters impede the flow of water solids get caught, pools of water start, and and excuse me, I'm sorry about that. It just uh it's just horrible stuff. Um we're we're going over quite a few blisters here. The bottom of the pipe seems to be just raising up on itself. There's there's another one and another one. The pipe is very blistered up. 
continue to pull, excuse me, to pull back here. Here's a little bit of uh, roots that are left from the cabling and some debris there in the pipe. <clears throat> We're about 31 feet from the city sewer. The sewer runs down the alley. More blue. There's a pretty large blister as well. Continue to pull back another one as well, and another. So as you can see, this pipe uh, has seen better days, but I mean it's very common with with Orange Bird. Um, unfortunately, we see this pipe often. And uh, it, and here you can see, yeah, here you can see a, a blister that uh, has been torn apart, probably by the cabling. Continue to pull back, and here's another. You can see the blistering here off to the right hand side the pipe is losing its shape and I would bet that that is probably where the blockage was at right there if I had to if I had to guess I'm you know I can't say for absolute certainty but um, the pipe is definitely extremely blistered continuing to pull back here about 53 feet from the uh, city sewer continuing to pull back more of the same blisters um, not as significant as some of the previous ones but still can be problematic they just raise up over time the um, scientific name for Orangeburg is actually bituminous fiber. Just a real problematic line. You can see water pooling and the blisters. It's like looks kind of like the surface of Mars at some points. <clears throat> Continue to pull back here. You can see. You can see it flaking off there, off to the right-hand side. And here we, here we transition from Orangeburg into cast iron. This is about 69 and a half feet from the city sewer. Cast iron is much more uh, preferable than Orangeburg. Cast iron has a life expectancy of 100, 150, sometimes even uh, 200 years. The stuff is just, you know dinosaur age and it still goes strong you can see the perfect circle of the pipe and here we're pulling up out of the clean out that we're working from here in the basement um, through the little access panel um, again my name is David Lane I'm with Bulldog Rooter today's date is March 4th 2017 and this will conclude your video inspection of the main line of 6112 North a Street here in Spokane, Washington. Thanks for choosing Bulldog Rooter.